Hi guys, today for our math lesson, we're gonna be doing lesson eight to add hundreds, tens, and ones. So let's go over our math words on the side. It says sum, we should all know what a sum is. The sum is an answer to a what? Everybody say it, an addition problem. An add end. So an add end is one of the two numbers you're adding together to get your sum. So for example, two plus two equals four. The two add ends are this number and this number, the numbers you're adding together. So two and two are the add ends. Place value, we already know what place value means. So each number has its place value based on where it is um, in the number. Ones, tens, and hundreds. Okay, so let's go and read the directions on the page. It says there are 133 people in line at the water park. Then 24 more people get in line. How many people are in line now? Look at the place value model for the problem. Add 133 plus 24 to find the sum. Line up the add ends by place value. So all the numbers in the ones place are worth one. All the numbers in the tens place are worth 10 and all the numbers in the hundreds place are worth 100. So if you look at how they line it up over here, you could say that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the ones place. There are one, two, three, four, five, 10 sticks in the tens place, and there's 100 in the hundreds place. So 157. So let's look closely at how they did it. So you always add the, the numbers in the ones place first. Always, always. I know we want to start in the hundreds place because when we read, we read left to right. But in addition, we start and we go right to left. So we, oops, I'm not sure how that happened. I must have pressed, clicked. Okay. So we always start in the ones place, okay? So we start with three plus four is seven. Then we move on to the tens place. Three plus two is five. And then we move on to the hundreds place. There's no number here. Now remember, if there's not a number there and it confuses you, put a zero there. So one plus zero is one. Okay, now let's try these down here. Notice the red arrow. The red arrow is telling you start in the ones place. Okay, so when you see that arrow, think start in the ones place. And that silly voice even. So four plus one. Well, four plus one is five. Now we go to the tens. Six plus two. Six plus two is eight. And then the hundreds. Four plus one is five. Now let's go to number two. Start in the ones place, like the arrow tells us to. Four plus three is seven. Two plus five is seven. And seven plus two is nine. Nine hundred and seventy-seven. Then number three, the red arrow tells us to start in the ones place. Let's start. Three plus zero is three. Six plus one is seven. In six plus or eight plus, and I'm going to put a zero here to help me. Eight plus zero is eight. Eight hundred and seventy-three. Okay, let's go on to the back side. Done. Okay. Click our pen and let me. There we go. Blow it up really big for you guys. Put my my put my camera right here so you can see me at the top of the page. Okay. So we always, always start adding in the ones place. So I'm going to put a one, an arrow here to remind you guys that we start in the ones place. Zero plus two is two. One plus two is three. And two plus three is five. So that added together, zero plus two, one plus two, two plus three is 532. Let's go on to the, another, the next one. 
remember we always start in the ones place always start in the ones place so one plus four is five three plus six is nine three plus one is four so 495. Ooh, I really like how I made this thin so that my handwriting's not so sloppy. Let's start 600 plus 73, starting in the ones place. Zero plus three is three. Zero plus seven is seven. Six plus, oh, I'll put a zero here to help. Six plus zero is six. 673. 5 plus 4 is 9. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So 849. Now, what I want you to do is you're going to do problems 8, 9, 10, and 11 on your own. So I want you to pause the video, do those four problems, and then press play. And we're going to check your answers together to see if you could do it all by yourself. So press pause. And when you're finished, press play. Okay. You should be ready to check those answers. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus five is six. Three plus three is six. 660. 3 plus 4 is 7. 0 plus 0, easy. 0. 6 plus 3 is 9. Now, number 10. Oh, 907. Number 10, 113 plus 764. 3 plus 4 is 7. 1 plus 6 is 7. 1 plus 7 is 8. 877. Number 11. 4 plus 2 is 6. 7 plus 0 is 7. 2 plus 6 is 8. 876. How'd you guys do? do did you do pretty well? Correct the sum or circle the correct sum. Now, if we get confused, boys and girls, you could just add the ones place first and say, okay, 2 plus 0 would be 2. And then go to the ones or go to the tens place. Three and five is eight. And then the hundreds place, there's nothing here, so it'd be zero plus seven would be seven. So seven hundred and eighty-two. Now, if that is hard or too confusing for you, rewrite your problem up and down like this: seven hundred and fifty-two plus thirty. Now there was an uh, nothing in the hundreds place, so make sure you leave it blank or put a zero and then draw a three and a zero. And then you can put your addition sign. So if it's too hard for you to do it sideways, do it up and down. There is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Now let's go on to the next one. 425 plus 163. Let's write that one up and down together. 425 plus 163 equals, okay, we always, always start in our ones place. That's right. Five plus three is eight. Two plus six is eight. And four plus one is five. 588. Okay, problem solving. Let me solve this problem and move my picture. Okay, a cardinal, or a cardinal, not a cardinal. A carnival sells 204 tickets on Monday. It sells 30, 131 more tickets on Tuesday than on Monday. How many tickets does a carnival sell in all on those two days? Use the place value chart to show your work. Okay, so a carnival sells 204 on Monday. So let me get my pen tool. 204 on Monday. Oop. And on Tuesday, it sells 131 more tickets than Monday. 
So now this is where they're trying to trick you. They want you to think that they sold 131 tickets on Tuesday. No, it says they sold 131 more tickets on Tuesday than on Monday. So Tuesdays is these two numbers combined. So four plus one is five. Zero plus three is three. And two plus one is three. Now it says, how many tickets does the carnival sell in all on those two days? Well, this is Tuesday, guys. This is how many he sold on Tuesday. This is how many he sold on Monday, 204. So we have to add 204 plus Tuesdays, which is 335. They wanted to trick you into thinking that the answer was 335. That's not correct. 335 is how many they sold on Tuesday. They want to, they're asking you how many were sold on both days. So four plus five is nine. Zero plus three is three. And two plus three is five. So the answer is 539. Okay, next. Erin adds 353 plus 125. Explain the mistake she made, then tell the correct sum. So let's look. Well, let's check to see if Erin wrote the numbers the right way. I can hear Tinley saying Erin's a mom's name. I can just hear her saying that. This is the second time Erin has been used as an example. 353, 125. So let's see. 5678 is correct. 567. Uh-oh. That should be a 7. 3 plus 1 is 4. So what mistake did she make? What mistake did she make? Um, she added the, num the numbers in the tens wrong, right? So Erin... Aaron's mistake was adding, Aaron added the tens column incorrectly, five plus two equals seven, not three. You know what I think she did on accident? I think she accidentally subtracted. Looking at this, I think she subtracted. So, boys and girls, I hope that um, explanation helps you. Go ahead and do the next two pages on your own.